Reducing the damaging effects of shear in systems with recline has been a primary goal of clinicians and providers for decades. Mechanically sliding backs, sliding seats, power sliding backs, and even power tilt were all created with the goal of reducing shear forces in maintaining a functional seated position. While sliding backs or mechanical shear reduction features go to great lengths in minimizing shear, they are not the only piece of the puzzle. Everyone's body is designed to pivot and move in specific places at varying angles and different speeds. Replicating the body's natural pivots and movements is the best way to reduce unwanted shear. Placing the client's natural recline pivot point as close as possible to the systems can greatly reduce shear. The greater the distance between these two points, the more shear there is in the system. As this distance increases, the sliding back is less and less effective in compensating. One of our core beliefs is to create power positioning that clients sit in, not on. A system that becomes a part of each client with adjustments that allow the provider to optimize their individual movements and function. A three and a half inch raised pivot point ensures the hip's natural pivot remains close to the system pivot when using most industry standard cushions. This raised pivot is a great starting point. The next step is to ensure the hips are sitting rearward as close to this axis as possible. All too often, a thick cushion back is added, causing the client to sit forward or on top of the system. Thick backs can also create a shelf between the bottom of the back and the top of the seat cushion in the fully reclined position, rather than a flat, smooth surface. In addition to being uncomfortable, this shelf induces shear and can push the pelvis forward. More shear reduction, or a greater amount of travel for the back pain, does not always equate to better shear reduction. However, being able to change the amount of travel based on a client's needs is a great tool for fine-tuning and adjusting. Although systems have up to 174 degrees of available recline, not everyone uses the entire range. Adjusting the amount of travel of the back pan optimizes the system for the amount of recline used. Someone using a small amount, say 20 to 30 degrees, does not need the full 5 and 1 quarter inches of available travel, whereas another person taking advantage of the full 174 degrees of recline will use the full movement of the sliding back. In addition to adjusting the amount of back travel, it is important to adjust the speed with which the back reclines. Correctly combining the correct amount of shear reduction with the appropriate speed results in a well-fit, integrated solution. Our mechanical shear reduction features are designed to provide the greatest amount of back travel at the beginning of the recline cycle, with the speed tapering off toward the end. Other systems keep the speed constant throughout the middle of the cycle, resulting in shear at the beginning of the range which cannot be compensated for once it has started. The proper backrest is an integral part of any seating system. With so many effective aftermarket back options, it is important that mounting them to a recline system does not become an afterthought. As we discussed earlier, thick padded backs can drastically affect the amount of shear because they place the client farther away from the recline pivot point. The same can be said for poorly mounted non-standard aftermarket backs. Thoughtfully created hardware ensures each back remains in line with the recline pivot while retaining the shape, function, and adjustment that makes the back an appropriate choice for the client. With the number of power tilt and recline systems being prescribed on the rise, it is important that close attention be paid to every detail of these involved systems. Going back to basics, taking a step back and looking at how a client sits in their system will pay dividends in greater function, less risk for skin tissue breakdown, and a happier consumer. At the heart of every system we make are the tools to ensure these thoughtful adjustments can be easily and efficiently made.